Look at this magnificent avocado farm. I want you to imagine it's your avocado farm. You need to know how many fruit you're going to pull off those trees for harvest this season. It's not an easy job. Look at all those trees. Would you count all of them or just some? Yield forecasting, which is knowing how many fruit you're going to get each season, is incredibly time consuming. One tree can take five minutes to count because it's so large and there can be up to 400 fruit on that tree. This means that you will need three people to count that same tree to ensure accuracy. And on a medium sized farm, which is about 10,000 trees, the current practices count between 70 to 1,000 trees and it has to happen twice a season. So all up, this is about 500 hours of effort just to get a yield forecast. And even after all that time, it can still be incredibly inaccurate. This 2017 trial shows on the left what the farmer thought they were going to get and on the right what was actually harvested from the trees. In all of the blocks, they're almost over 120% out. The impact of this is huge. Just taking one of these blocks, which is a 30 hectare block, you can see the farmer thought they would get nine tonnes per hectare, but they actually only got four tonnes per hectare. This equates to over $1.5 million that their estimate is out. So the flow on effect of this to their labour costs, the price they can get at the farm gate, their ability to fulfil existing contracts and their packing costs, it's huge. And this is just 30 hectares. We know that in Australia, there's over 13,000 hectares of avocado orchards. Introducing Crop Count. Crop Count combines satellite imagery with on the ground sampling to produce yield forecasts. And the big difference we make is in the time saving. So previously we were talking about counting between 70 to 1,000 trees. We've reduced this to just 18 trees. That means the time saving is from 500 hours right down to nine hours. What previously took almost two and a half months can be done in almost just one day. And what about accuracy? As shown in that 2017 trial, crop count is 93% accurate. But this is more than just an idea in our heads. With the help of Hort Innovation, we've created a prototype mobile app and put it into the hands of growers. And what those trials have shown us is that the app is super easy to use. It can be picked up by even a novice with no training and easily used in the field. Team Crop Count is led by Professor Andrew Robson from the University of New England. He has over 25 years of experience and is the leading researcher in this field. Andrew Robson identified a need to partner with a team with expertise in digital product development. And so here at Circulate, me, Janine and Alana brought that expertise. We've tested for five years across different farms to ensure that the scientific model is accurate. And over the past year, with the support of Hort Innovation and Avocados Australia, we've created a prototype app to put this scientific model into the hands of growers. Our next phase is to build components of the back end to ensure the scalability of crop count. And we'd like to do more trials to look at how we can extend this into other industries. We're looking for partners and a co-investment of $480,000 to ensure that crop count is ready to be fully commercialised and hit the market. There's also an exciting opportunity to see crop count extended into other industries such as citrus, mango and macadamias. We'd like to thank Hort Innovation for their support in getting crop count to the prototype stage it's at and we're really excited about the next phase. Crop count provides accurate, efficient and consistent yield forecasts.